Hey, it's Clara, and we're back here at Alhana Resort, and we have some huge news to share with you. This iconic property has sold, and we're here to tell you a little bit about the past and a little bit about the future. Stick around, you're gonna wanna hear about it. I'm sitting here with three members of the lovely family that kept Alhana Resort open and thriving for 42 wonderful years here at the lake. Shirley, could you tell me a little bit about when you guys acquired the resort or what the lake was like at that time? Uh, yes, in 1980, it was a very quiet, not very inhabited, and we had 12 units. There was eight cabins and one apartment building and that's what we survived on for three years. How was it like seeing the lake then and the lake now with all the growth and everything that's changed over the years? Uh, I liked it the way it was then, personally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but growth has been wonderful. Uh, we now have a Walmart that I can drive to. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, there's been a lot of growth and good growth. We've all kind of heard and seen the articles about Bill Dubuque, how he wrote the show Ozark and it's based here and he used to work here in the summers. How did the role of Ozark coming out and blowing up in pop culture affect the resort and affect you guys and just answering questions here at the resort? At first it was a little quiet and then all of a sudden it just kind of went crazy. <laughs> and people would call and say, so are there money in the walls? No, there's no money in the walls. Um, just, you know, a lot of comparisons to what is then, what was then in the show and what is now here at Alhana. Um, just tons and tons of questions about our involvement and why every time they pop up Ozark on Google, Alhana comes up too. <laughs> do you remember Bill on the resort or as an employee here back in the day? I do remember Bill. I was probably 14, 15 years old when Bill and his brother Paul worked here. And they worked here for a couple summers on the gas dock helping us with boat rental and doing some different things. It was uh, quite the shock when Ozark came up and Bill was with it. And it was really interesting to say the least. And to address what Cheryl said, I definitely see the similarities uh, from the show to things that we've done here at Alhana. And then the more we got into it, there was uh, characters that were in the show from the Blue Cat that were based on people that used to work here, right? Yes, there was actually a couple different characters. There was the bartender, Ralph, we had here, and he always had a towel over his shoulder. And then Island Charlie, he was an actual customer here, and he actually lived on the islands right over there. <laughs> so yeah, there's, there's a lot of things that Bill used from his experience here with our family that he carried over to the show. Growing up on the resort yourself, Michelle, have you seen any of the other families grow up as well? Or do you have any fun stories about some of your favorite customers or families? Or you've kind of grown up with them over the years? I have. There is a few families that have been here the entire time we've been here. The Wades, the Minimeyers, the Minis. And I grew up with their children and we've all gotten married and had our own children. So it's been fun to see our life changes uh, throughout the years. One of my favorite times here at the resort has been with the high school groups and we used to do some college groups and these kids would come in for a one night or maybe a two night event. You'd see them, you'd talk to them and you made a big enough impression that they came back as an adult. Um, we have some customers that come back, Robbie comes to mind. He was here as a, a fraternity member and then now brings his kids and his family back. So those are really neat relationships and memories that we carry with. So out of the countless people that have come and spent weekends and summers here, is there anything you want to say to all the loyal customers that have come here over the years? I would just say it, it's a great big thank you. You've kept us going and it's your customers who come back every year that makes it possible to keep this place going. When we listed it, we had such a, a cry online of people that were just so uh, maybe worried that the resort was gonna change or it's been such a way of life down here for so many people that come to the lake. What does it mean to you that they're gonna kinda of keep the Ahana tradition going and keep everything pretty much the same way? That has made my retirement easier because I don't know that I could have walked away entirely uh, just to leave my livelihood and my family's livelihood behind, not knowing that it wasn't going to take care of them. It's, I just feel so comfortable about not being here. 
Aaron, <laughs> this has been a wonderful experience. It's been an easy transition, and I thank you so much for taking care of my family. I, I really do. I couldn't be more thrilled. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. You bought one of the biggest resorts at the Lake of the Ozarks. How exciting. Oh man, this is this is this is awesome. The the lake's my literal favorite place on earth. We started coming down here 15 years ago with um, my wife. We got invited on shootout weekend and from that point on we were hooked and uh, haven't looked back since. So what really attracted you to Ohana, the property? I love the family part of the lake and I think there's so much to do here to um, just pull your family into it and we've been bring we started coming to the lake with our kids when my daughters were um, 12 13 years old and the whole point of it was what can we do with our kids every weekend that keep them involved with us and get them to want to be around us instead of somebody else and so we bought a boat we bought a camper we started going to the lake and that was 15 years ago and now, you're here back. Full time. And, and now <laughs> we're here yeah do you want to go explore the property a little bit and Let's show us it. what your plans are yeah go. sounds great So what is your vision for the property moving forward? Well, the great thing about the property is they've taken such good care of it, there's nothing that we have to do. Um, the, pro the property's a little bit dated. Some new furniture, some paint, some new fixtures, I think will go a long way to bringing it up to speed, but we don't really want to change anything. I love the historic, this is a historic Ozark family resort and we want to keep it that way. And when, we, when you pull up, I want people to recognize it as that. I love that. And I love that the family's going to appreciate that too. And I think the general lake, the lake yeah. in general will appreciate that. That's what I love about it. Right. I, I want the lake to stay the lake with some improvements. And so we're going to try and do that here. Awesome. We are super excited to see the big things that you do. What's one thing that you want to tell the people what you plan to do for the summer and moving forward? Well, we just want everybody to boat over and see us. Uh, we're going to be sitting out by the pool having cocktails and eating cheeseburgers and we hope we make some new friends this summer. So come on over. Mm -hmm.